of the Sunday morning to everybody. And we got a lot to talk about today. We're going to church, but I'm emo, baby. Let's get busy. I want my big hit. That's my big hit. <laughs> That's from all my folks around the world that can't enjoy that medicine. <coughs> Alright, some issues I want to get on quick. First of all, very important. Very, very important to my kids. Stop fooling with the synthetic shit, man. This is very important. Stop fooling with the synthetic shit. All right? I don't want none of y'all smoking that shit. Don't fuck with synthetics, man. You're going to use marijuana? Use marijuana. Do not use synthetics. If you're too young to use marijuana, wait till you get old enough. And if you live in the states where it's illegal, be very careful. But do not use synthetics. I repeat, do not use synthetics. I repeat, do not use synthetics. I got to get that message across to y'all. We're losing too many wonderful children to bullshit. Now let me address this issue. Ben Carson was on the thing this morning talking about all the stuff that they're on him about. They're asking him too many questions. They're digging too deep into his background. Uh, he figured they more after him than anybody. Ben, Ben, listen to this. You're running for goddamn president of the United States. They're going to dig in your drawers, you understand? And they need to, because we need to know what you're about. Now, first off, then, let me address something you said. You said we need to continue the war on drugs. All right, I need to address that issue. First, there has never been a war on drugs. There has always been a war on people using drugs, okay? Let's get it straight. There has never been a war on drugs. There's always been a war on people using drugs. You have incarcerated so many people for an illness that's going around in this country. Yes, an illness. This is where y'all y'all screwing this country up. You all run around telling them that marijuana is the same as crack and heroin. Okay? You're telling kids that using marijuana is just like using crack. It's just like using heroin. You stupid ass motherfuckers. You trick. Man, y'all so fucking illiterate in this world. You sending children from where they should be using marijuana to using crack and, 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 and heroin because your stupid ass is lying to these children. Marijuana is nothing at all like crack and heroin. Now stop with the fucking bullshit and let's fix this country, man. How many children you gonna kill in this world before y'all satisfied? Shit. Man, this is stupid. And y'all fall for this shit. Oh, marijuana, it's a terrible drug like heroin and crack. Look at them, they're smoking joints. Stupid ass fucking people, wake up. You've been fucked in the head, all right? They fucked you in your ear with a dick, and you believe in all this dumb ass shit. I hate to go back to my gangster shit, but I'm gangster, all right? Yeah, and I'm a used ball guy because this is where the fuck I come from, and it's stupid. It's fucking stupid. Y'all keep lying to people, man. This is not a fucking drug. This is not crack cocaine. This is not heroin. You understand? You running for fucking president? It's a fucking joke, man. All oh, y'all fucking jokes. Yeah, put that bitch out there. I'm even more for president. Fuck Kanye West with his dumb ass talking about he running for president. None of these motherfuckers got a clue. But the main thing we need to do in this country is to save our fucking children. That's the main fucking thing we need to do. Fuck everything else. You killing children with synthetic marijuana. You killing children telling them that this is as bad as heroin. This is as bad as crack. Or this leads you to heroin and leads you to crack. It don't lead you no fucking way but to the store to get some papers so you can roll this shit. That's where it leads you to. Stupid motherfuckers. Yeah, I go hard. I'm sorry. Excuse my French. No, don't excuse shit. Because that's how fucking stupid it is. And what's more stupid is not that they're doing it. What's more stupid is that y'all run up there and listen to them and y'all accept this shit. Let your children take their marijuana into their room and smoke the shit. You know where they at. You know they're safe. You know they're not going to get busted by the police. You understand? Y'all need to change, man. Fuck, wake up. They are playing y'all. Let me tell you something. In this country, Jerry Springer 
and Murray are big now, or as big now as they were back in the fucking when they first came out. What does that really tell you, people? That should tell you that we have not grown as a society at all. We have taken our children and put them in front of the television so they could watch this shit when they were babies. Now they're watching and showing it to their children so they can show their children. Is this not stupid? Are we not fucked up in the head, man? Y'all need to fix yourselves, dog. Y'all talking about everybody else and y'all judging everybody else. And a lot of y'all sitting out there judging me right now. But y'all judging the wrong person. You gotta judge your fucking self, man. Judge you. Judge the motherfucker who's sitting there watching me talk this shit and not doing something to change this shit. Judge that motherfucker. Let me tell y'all something. I ain't trying to be no fucking rapper. Y'all gotta get a grip. Y'all don't know this by now. I'm not trying to be a fucking rapper. You understand? I'm not trying to be a fucking star. I'm trying to get things done, man. It's a big fucking difference. I'm already happy and successful. I'm very successful. I smoke weed every fucking day. How much more successful can I get? <laughs> where I'm unsuccessful at is that I can't get it where everybody can enjoy this. That's where I'm unsuccessful. And that's why I work so hard. Y'all want me on a pup or pulpit? Like these lying some bitches that lie to y'all every Sunday and steal all your money and go buy new cars and new houses and jets? I'm not like that, dog. Now, this is the catch. I am in need of assistance and help. Y'all like my videos, y'all like my message, y'all not buying shit, all right? I'm going to get the PayPal. I got the PayPal set up where you can call me and charge anything you want or you can donate to this cause. I am like them. I do need funds to make this shit happen. I want to expand. I invested more money into my website. That's going to get a lot bigger and better soon. I'm making things happen, but I still need income. I'm using all my money like Donald Trump said. I'm making all my shit off my own money. But I still need y'all to help support my effort. If you don't want to support me, I understand that. That's your right. But don't expect to keep seeing me sit here and give you these messages and keep doing all the work that I'm doing if I can't get no funding. I need help. Like, they need help. But I'm not going to buy jets with your money, and I'm not going to buy weed with your money. This comes out of my motherfucking pocket. You understand? I grow my own shit, so stop judging me. All right? And the reason I tell people to put your videos out of feeding homeless is because we got to motivate people. And listen, when I say feeding homeless, we're getting caught up. Don't give them no money. I already told y'all that. These people are on the streets, and a lot of them are starving to death. The government's not telling y'all a lot of the reports that should be told to y'all. But these people are starving to death. They're freezing at night. And we walk past them every day like this. They're just trash. But we need to change our ways, too, so we don't be like the 1%. So I'm not telling you to give him no money, but if you see a man starving to death, hungry on the street, or a child, or a woman, feed him, man. Just feed him. Give him something to eat, something su substance. Because I know a lot of them are hustlers, a lot of them don't want to do nothing, and a lot of them are just taking your money and going to casinos or buying drugs or whatever they're doing with it. But I don't want you to get caught up like that. I want you to help the people that really need your help. Again, stop falling for the hype. The government is playing games with our minds. We don't have to stay in line like the rest of the people and follow the path that they have laid down for us. They sold you booze and you drink booze every day. You're talking about, oh, a drink a day is good for me. Bullshit. It's poison. Whenever you put poison in your body, it changes your mentality. An alcoholic becomes an alcoholic because that is an addictive fucking substance, all right? And it's an abusive substance. It'll make you kick your wife's ass or your child's ass and come back the next day and not even remember what you did. That's not good, man. I remember every fucking thing I do on this. You understand? I don't beat nobody. I don't run into people with cars or run over people with drunk driving. This is a substance that mankind has fucked us up with, and I'm trying to say you can change your ways and stop believing the lies man has put into your head. That's why you run to church every Sunday, because you believe this dumb shit that they put in your head. Preachers love it. Shit, I ought to go over to church and start being, y'all won't be rappers and shit, y'all need to be preachers. Y'all won't make that quick, fast, hard, easy money, but that's all they do, go to church, learn how to hustle you out of your money. <coughs> no. No more.
more synthetic marijuana. Please, children, I'm begging y'all. I'm begging y'all, please, stop. Don't use that shit. Then Carson, change your mind, son. Change your ways. Make it an illness that a person is on heroin and crack. Make it an illness, not a crime. You understand? These people need help. They don't need to be in jail where they're going to get raped and abused. They need help. Somebody turned them onto a substance that fucked their life up. And you want to stick them in a jailhouse instead of giving them help. And you're a doctor? Dr. Ben Carson? <laughs> I love all y'all, man. Peace. Peace out. Stay strong. Stay safe. Guess what? You can't change nobody but who? The motherfucker I'm talking to. Now, if you want to change him, call home. We'll work on that. And it ain't hard to do. Because the change is in you. It's just realizing what you need to change too. Love y'all, man. Stay strong. Stay safe. Hey, that motorcycle is up for sale. 19,000. Best deal in the country right now because I got a lot on my plate. I can't have time to enjoy my bike like I want to. So I'm putting it on the market. $19,000. You price them. It's only got 5,400 miles. You price them. You can't beat that deal nowhere. And it's got a three-year guaranteed maintenance contract. So you just bring it to the shop after every so many miles and they'll fix it. You have no worries with this bike. Check it out. I love all y'all, man. Stay strong. Stay safe. And guess what? Love your neighbors. Stop passing them by as you go run to that church and get your money away. Try loving people. It works a lot better, man. Peace out.